Hey folks, Quill18 here, and in the grand tradition on my channel of uh, starting new games before finishing the ones I'm already doing, I'm kind of in the mood to play some Dungeon Crawl, so I figured, well, if I'm going to play, let's record. So here we go. Now, Dungeon Crawl is a um, totally free uh, roguelike game, very similar to, say, NetHack, but if you watch my NetHack videos and were kind of intimidated, Dungeon Crawl is far more... Accessible. Actually, I just realized I've got my fraps running, and that is going to put a counter all over everything which we don't want. There we are. Um, it's much more accessible. It's sort of easier to play. It's still incredibly hard to beat. Oh my god, I haven't even come close to getting there. And uh, expect many, 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 many failures um, if I play more than one game. Um, but I'm sort of just going to play and see how it goes. I'm going to click to start. I'm going to pick Dungeon Crawl. There's a full tutorial and a hints mode if you want to play. Um, so again, very easy to learn. The The full game, name of this game is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Dungeon Crawl was sort of the name of the game, and then I think it was abandoned by the initial developer, sort of, but it was open source. So a the sort of, yeah, the crawl development team took it over and they call it Stone Soup because everyone sort of puts their own thing in, and it ends up being an awesome game. At the time that I'm doing this, point eight. Version point eight is the latest one, and it is awesome. So let's start dungeon crawl. And one thing, unlike NetHack, is there's tons of options when you start. These are your races. I mean, so many things. Human, three variants of elves, a couple of different types of dwarves, orcs, merfolk. Then you get weird stuff. Well, halflings not so weird, but cobalt, spurgains, naga, centaur, ogre, troll, minotaur, and then really weird stuff. What's a kenku? Oh, it's a birdman. Draconian, so you're like half dragon. Demigod, mm, that sounds pretty good to me, but so does Demon Spawn. And do you like to play the undead? Mummy ghouls and vampires are available. And they just added felides, felids, I don't know how to say it, but they're like cat people. And they all have wildly different abilities and stuff, like things like the cat people can't wear the conventional armor, but they have claws built in, so it's, I don't know, it's really, really interesting. So, um, and that's just the races. Then there's the, going to be the classes. Now, I have been having some fun with a particular combination. I've played a couple of games of, and it's been a lot of fun, so I want to play another one of that. I'm going to play Spurgain. Very small, very frail, very fast. They make highly competent stabbers and spellcasters. I don't know what a Spurgain is exactly. Um, in my head, they're like some sort of like little sprite or something. I have no idea. But they're tiny and very fast and stealthy. Now here is the the backgrounds option. This is the um this is these are your classes basically. And um some of them have unique abilities and some of them are simply unique in that they start with a different set of skills, but um a lot of them have a variety. Like you could start with the fighter and then still learn to cast spells if that's what you want to do. So there's a lot of options. Now the ones that are are highlighted here are the ones that are recommended for my race because each race has things they're better at and worse at, um, and so there's recommendations there. Like, for example, as a Spurgain, a fighter is not recommended because Spurgains, being small, can't use all the weapons in the game, and they can't wear most armor, so that would be a kind of a poor choice. They're also kind of bad at the sort of more offensive magic, generally speaking, but there's a few things that they can do. Um, and uh, they make great assassins. So I, in particular, am going to be playing a Warper. Uh, which is sort of a spellcaster. Uh, they're really good at spells that let them like blink around or teleport and that sort of thing. Um, but they're also not too bad at combat. So I'm going to combine that to go with sort of a kind of a stealth assassin. But whereas an assassin uses poisons and things, uh, or well, sort of, an assassin starts with like some poison darts. A stalker is someone who's like an assassin, but starts with poison spells. A warper instead of poison spells has sort of teleportation spells. So I'm going to take advantage of that and try to use a lot of mobility. We'll see how it goes. And your choice of starting weapon, normally there would be a variety available, but I'm a Spurgain, and these are too big for me, so I'm going to be starting with a short sword. And here's the game. Now, this is the uh, tiles version, the sort of more graphical version. There's also a text-based one. And you can play this directly online if you want, or you can download it to your computer. Again, either thing is totally free. So here I am, Quill18, the Spurgain. Um, and... Oh, that's interesting. Ah, see, because I... Sh uh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, because I shrank down my view to fit exactly in 720p, just because it was the easiest way to record this uh, game. Um, I have a slightly different interface down here, but I'm used to... But that's okay. So here are my... Uh, 
here are, is my inventory. I start with a potion of porridge, so some food. Oh, one of the things with the Spurgain is they are, and one of the reasons I like them, is they actually need very little food. They don't get hungry very fast, um, which is really nice because food is always a problem in these games. Uh, but as a catch, they're actually herbivores. They can't eat any meat whatsoever. So whereas most people can, if they kill something, they can chop up its body and then you know eat the meat afterwards. You can't do that as a spurgain. Luckily, you need so little food that it doesn't tend to be too much of a problem. We also start with the Squirrel of Blinking, 20 plus 1 darts, 5 darts of dispersal, whereas they hit someone, it causes them to blink, teleport a short distance, and some robes, which as far as I can tell are the only armor you can wear as a spurgain. So hopefully we can get uh, some magical ones or just enchant these. And our short sword. We also start with our spell book, <clears throat> and if we check that out, these are the different spells we've got. Uh, Apportation just lets me grab an item from distance, um, which, I don't know, I guess maybe you could use it to train up your spellcasting or something. Doesn't seem worthwhile to me. Um, I do like Blink, though, but I have to wait until I'm a little bit higher level before I can cast it. And one of the things I like about this game, whereas NetHack has, like, this would be the entire map on NetHack, basically. This, and it'd be a lot of, like, little rooms. Uh, in Dungeon Crawl, the, each level is actually quite large, and because it would take longer to explore, you can just hit O to auto-explore, which is what you would usually do. So I'm just going to do that. And anything highlighted green, these are items that you will auto-pick up. So it'll automatically pick up this choco, which is a fruit, and some potions. So it's pretty smart about that. So I'm just going to keep going. Oh, I actually hit a dart trap there, but not too concerned. Um, Spurgains are really squishy, they don't have a lot of health, but they have great evasion, so they have good luck dodging things. I see a shield over here, which, uh, it's a glowing shield, which means I would actually quite like to grab it, except for the fact that I won't be able to use it. Here's an elven dagger, which, um, you know, I'm going to keep it. If I look at I, I'm like my skills, my short blade skill, well, I guess it doesn't matter, actually. I'll grab the elven dagger, and maybe, maybe it has a plus built in. Probably not, and it's possible that it's cursed, but it's early on. I'm just going to wield it. And it is cursed! Damn the luck! Oh, hopefully it's not, like, you know, a, a terrible weapon. Sometimes they're cursed, and they don't actually have any modifiers, but this could be, like, a minus one dagger, which is really going to make the early game hard. So, yes, these are my skills. I have three levels of short blade. Um, this is my actual current rating. And I, it does tell me this is my aptitude based on my race, so I'm getting some of an extra plus one bonus um, because of my race. Dodging is another example. I get a plus four because my race, I'm quite good at dodging. Um, and I'm okay at throwing things and pretty good at spell casting, actually. And a lot of recommendations at this point are actually to turn off your skill learning <clears throat> so that these things don't get trained up and don't waste any XP early on. Um, so perhaps I will do that, just pr improve my melee. It's not something I usually do, but I should try different things. So I've spotted my first enemy over here, a goblin. And I'm going to start by just throwing some darts at him to kind of soften him up. There you go, he's taking some damage. Oops, there's a lizard or something behind him. Oh, he's still there. I'll throw one more time. Okay, I'm just going to melee him. Die. And where'd that lizard go? There he is. Good. It was a giant newt. So I'm just going to hit auto. Oh, there's a bat. Bats are a pain. They're kind of hard to hit, and they like to move around a lot. But we just dart him to death. And I guess I'm just going to keep just stabifying things rather than throwing at this point because they're not particularly threatening although the snakes can be bad there we go <clears throat> let's say they're not particularly threatening so I should practice my stabbing skill while I can die 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 Whew, got pretty low in health there just gonna rest up oh a snake and the reason I'm throwing at the snakes is because they can be hard to hit so it can be a pain in the ass to kill them, and they can also poison you. Okay, oh, I killed him in one shot. I was just hoping to soften him up a little bit with the dart before I actually engage. I oh, found some gloves there, which also sound very good, but I will not be able to wear them. And 31 darts, awesome. They're probably non-magical darts, but you uh, sometimes when you throw the darts, they get lost. Oh, there's a robe. I wonder if it's magical. Oh, I've killed the giant newt, and I've reached level 2. Excellent, so I've got more hit points. And, whoop, I wanted to pick up that robe, actually. It's probably not magical, because it doesn't have any words. It doesn't say ruined or glowing or anything like that. Oh, I've also grabbed a scroll. We'll talk about those later. 17 silver darts. Ooh, that sounds really promising. And some rune darts. Oh, wow, whoops. Damn it. Wrong key. Pick that up. 
So, wow, throwing is actually going to be pretty important. I'm apparently going to make a lot of use out of it, but I still want to just focus on my melee skills right now. Try to get that rated up. Speaking of throwing, I'm getting thrown at. <clears throat> die, die, die. My shitty weapon. Did he just, like, drink a potion or something? He just healed up. That rotten... Oops, I want your darts. Oh, nice. That rat was asleep. I should have pointed out, but he had little zeds above his head. Uh, so he was asleep, and I was able to actually sneak up to him and stab him before he woke up. At some point, I'll actually get a stealth skill, and I'm just going to be stabbing people more and more and more. Die. Yes. Actually, I should rest before I keep moving. There we go. Another mega bat. See, we keep just missing each other. The bats have no hit points, basically, but they're hard to hit, and they like to run away from you. Come on. Just die to darts, then. There you are. Ooh. Oh, he woke up. Melee, melee, melee. Oh, the dagger is a minus one, minus one dagger. So it's minus one to hit, minus one to damage. Which is really quite poor. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of that pretty soon. I don't usually wield weapons that I haven't identified if I don't have means of getting rid of cursed stuff. But at the very beginning of the game, sometimes I'm like, ah! Well, you know, if it causes me to die, then it's not the end of the world because it's still early on in the game. But later on, I definitely don't risk it. Partially explored, can't reach some places. So there might be some place somewhere with a, uh, a secret door, but I can't begin to guess where that is. So I'm just going to find some stairs and go down one level. Ooh, big cockroach. I don't know if I killed it. No, I missed it. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies there. Okay, I'm going to go up the stairs. Now, any enemies adjacent to the stairs, when you go up or down them, will follow you. But this, or they normally do, but the bat did not. Let's try that again. Okay. But I'm using that here intentionally just to try to split up the enemies. See, cockroaches are a pain. They have a lot of hit points. This one just randomly healed. Probably because the combat was going so long. Ah, oh, man. This dagger. Maybe I should just read the scroll on the off chance that it's, like, a remove curse one. It's a pretty big chance to take, though. Ooh, sleeping bat. Can I approach it? No. Can I kill it? Yes. And the cobalt as well. Die, 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 die. Awesome. Okay. Let's explore a little. Ooh, lots of scrolls. That's good. A ring. That's very good. All right, I'm going to read the scroll that I have two of. The more common scrolls that I can find seem to be detect curse, remove curse, and identify. Um, Detect Curse wouldn't be particularly helpful here, although it would show me the robe. Um, but the other two would be pretty good. And there's a good chance this is an Identify Scroll, the fact that it's asked me an item to target. So I'm actually going to target... Um, well, it could be... It could be an Enchantment. Hmm. It could be an Armor Enchantment Scroll. But probably not. If I found two, I'm betting Identify. So I'm actually going to use it to Identify another Scroll. And it is, and that was a scroll of charging, so that's good if I get wands later. I'm going to burn the second identify to identify the second scroll. Scroll of Enchant Weapon 2. Now, hmm, I can use scrolls of Enchant Weapon to actually break curses. The thing is, I would actually prefer to save this to use on an actually good weapon. Um, so that way, I would actually, say, like, be able to buff up a weapon to a good level, but I think at this point I'm just going to have to use it to break the curse. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of this dagger. So it's no longer minus one, minus one dagger, because enchant weapon two improves the damage. So now it's a minus one, plus zero, but it still has that penalty to hit. So we're just going to drop that weapon. We're going to go back to our short sword. And start running around again. Megabat comes into view. There it is. Die. This should have a slightly easier time hitting things. There's a cobalt over there who is throwing darts at me very rudely. I didn't throw darts at you, although apparently I should have because I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, so let's fire some darts at this guy. There we go. Now, how's my skills doing? Okay, we're almost leveling up the short blade. I really would like this level up stabbing. But that'll probably have to wait until I get some stealth levels. So a couple of rings. I don't want to put them on, I guess, just in case they're really bad. Most rings are good, though. But I've already risked my... <laughs> my Cursed luck once. I don't want to push it too much. Hobgoblin, die, Hobgoblin. Yes. Ooh. 
weaken you a little bit good. Mmm, dagger. Bam, bam. Level 3, and at le every third level you get to increase a stat. I'm going to increase dexterity, since I am going to be roguish route more than a castery route. Although that reminds me, I have, yeah, leveled up enough that I can learn blink, which I really like. Yes. And I'm also going to pick up teleport other, which I'm not going to be great at casting yet, but it's kind of a neat trick when you can break up a group by teleporting someone. And I've just gained the stealth skill. Awesome. And I do get a plus four to that. Now, I don't know what I should do with all this stuff. Hmm. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, down. I don't want to go down yet. More potions, more scrolls, which I don't know what they do. I do have another identify scroll, though, so I should probably use that to identify my scroll. Those are always my top priority. Te scroll of teleportation. That's a good one to know. Scroll of teleportation will... You, you use it, and then, like, a couple of turns later, it teleports you randomly on the same level. But it's an amazing escape tool. Ooh, I've got to watch these guys. Lead them into a corner. There we go. Some corpses, which I can't do anything with. i got to start worshipping a god that... Uh, no, I don't want to go down the trap door. That's no good. Didn't, wasn't there another... Yeah. This stair. I want to start worshipping a god that would like sacrifices of bodies, because I don't need the bodies for anything anywhere. I'm going to grab this... I got slowed? Oh no, Jessica! One of the name people, the caster. Let us change... Well, we have plus one darts. I guess we'll keep using them. Nope, nope. Hit Jessica. Oh, there's a lot of shit going on here. Okay, we've killed everything. Um, okay, I don't think we've got anything we can use. We're slowed, which really sucks. So I'll start meleeing. You feel as though you will be slow longer. So she keeps slowing me. That's very rude. But it's better than doing damage. Got her. Wow, that was probably the easiest kill at this point. I'm going to grab her robes. It would be really nice to know if they are cursed or not. I don't want to waste an, an uh, identify on them. I'm just hoping they're not cursed. How are we doing with XP? Another blank scroll. Yellow potion. Oh, and a, a wand. That'll be worth identifying later. Especially since we can charge it and everything. Can't quite sneak up to the goblins yet. An amulet and a blink scroll. Nice. Oops, we're going to definitely throw in here. Don't like two on one. Oh man, there's even more people. Oh, I'm using my darts of dispersal. I don't want to waste them if I don't have to. Oh, I actually picked up more of them. How interesting. Let's use the non-magical darts. At least I think they're non-magical. Die, cockroach. There we are. So many things to pick up. An amulet to pick up. Oops, there is an unidentified dart here, which I would like to grab. All right. Keep looking around. Scroll of Identify. Yeah, let's use that. Now, what are we going to identify first? Again, I really like identifying scrolls, but I think this wand would be nice to know what it is. I could just zap it at someone. It's unlikely to do something horrible. Worst case scenario, it's a wand of healing, and that's not even the end of the world, actually. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Potions? Actually... Knowing which ones are the health potions would be good. I'm guessing this one probably is, but we're going to find out. Yes, potion of healing. Oh, and it's a good charge of identify. It'll let me identify three things at once. Okay, let's do the wand. Wand of flame. Oh, only two things. I thought there were either one or three, but apparently two is also an option. So we can nuke people with fire with this wand. That is awesome. Very happy about that. And what the hell? There's a lot of things coming. Hmm. There's a staircase right here we can use. And we're going to go up. Up. There we go. So we only have one orc to fight. 
health is a little low. Okay, we do kill him. Maybe I should have even healed there. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't think I want to go back down those stairs right now. I'm going to find another set of stairs right over here. That way I can approach them sort of on my terms. They are right up here. Oh, more scrolls. Yes. Where are all the guys? There we are. Take that. Die. Oh, man. They're not dying. I think I'm going to wand them. That worked. What the hell is that? A great sword. Wow, I don't think I've even seen one in the game. That's crazy. Of course, I can't wield it, so there's no point in picking it up. Fire. Oh, he's going to just throw stuff at me, so... Oof. Glowing orcish hammer. See, if I could use hammers, that would be very exciting. Fine. Shoot at the ooze a whole bunch. Melee him. Ooze are usually pretty easy. Cockroaches. Cockroaches are easy, too, except that they're... They've got a lot of hit points. I think I stabbed that guy. I'm not sure, though. And I still don't have a stabbing skill. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. I wonder if it's worth keeping stealth on or not. I think so. I would like to be more sneaky. More sneaky, more stabby. Uh, identify. We are going to identify... Let's identify some more jewelry. Like the amulet. An amulet of clarity protects its wearers from some forms of mental confusion, including being infuriated against one's wills. Yeah. Well, we don't have any other amulet. Definitely seems worthwhile. Another identify potion or a scroll. Die. Hmm. Well, my oh, I'm finally hungry for the first time, so I'm going to eat a pear. So so good compared to the average. I'll grab this robe. Um, let's identify these scrolls. Magic mapping, that's worthless. Enchant armor, okay. Well, that gives us a plan if we put on some cursed armor, but I would still really rather detect curse. And we'll identify a ring, the knobbly jade one. It's a ring of sea invisible, which I actually do not need, because as I recall... As a Spurgain, I naturally see invisible, so I'm just going to drop this ring. There are shops in this game, but the shops don't buy anything. There's no reason to hold on to anything at all, uh, you know, to, to sell to a vendor. So it's great because it doesn't. the game discourages hoarding. You just pitch away anything you really don't care for. Hmm. Probably can't sneak up to him, he's too smart. Yeah. Oh my god! He just... I think he two-shotted me. Yeah, he did. But... Wow. Okay, priests are bad. Okay. Oh, my God. We had all this stuff. I should have just wanted to flamed him or something. What was I thinking? I should have killed him. Like, hard, just to make sure. Son of a bitch. And we did have a plus one robe. Although we also had a cursed robe, so it's a good thing I didn't just go trying them on. God damn it. Yeah, so... Most of my games don't go very well. I did have a couple... This DSBE. Demon Spawn Berserker, Troll Berserker being my number one. The Troll Berserker went really, really well. Okay. I think this time we're going to try a different build. We're going to go with a Mountain Dwarf. These, this is pure melee, no spell casting. Uh, star, sturdy and strong, not too intelligent, love heavy weapons and armors. I'm going to go with a Fighter, which is very, like, equipment oriented. They also start with a lot of health, so they're pretty good. And we are going to start with an axe, because we're a dwarf, so absolutely we're going to use axes. And here we are. So we start with a bread ration, some dwarven scale mail, a dwarven shield, and a dwarven hand axe. And the racial designation does mean something. The, uh, the dwarves are better with items that say dwarves. So if you find elven stuff, it's good for elves. If you find orcish stuff, good for orcs. And that's pretty much it. So lots of stairs and stuff. A rat! Let's go slay the rat! Smash! Smash! Yes! And the bat! Yes! Mmm! The goblins! And we haven't even taken any damage yet because we're strong and sturdy. What are our skills? Armor, shields, axes, fighting. Yeah, very focused. We're going to leave that all on. Oh, we actually took a little bit of damage there. 
And I probably should have healed up first, actually. Especially since there's more than one of them. Die, 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 die. Excellent. Let's rest and heal. Good. And a scroll. Another scroll. None of them have stacked yet. Don't know what they are. And then a knife. And a goblin. Yay, we level 2. And our shield skill increases to level 3. Awesome. I'm going to kill this snake eventually. Yes. Now, at this point, we're going to have to talk about food again. Dwarves are not herbivores. They can eat whatever they want. So these are some corpses. And now the hobgoblin corpse has a little um, sort of meh face about it, which means it's kind of contaminated meat. It could make you sick. The snake has no such thing, so we're actually going to chop up the snake. And it's going to leave us with a raw meat chunk of uh, snake flesh, which we're not hungry right now. We're not going to want to eat it. We'd, we could eat the bread, but we're not hungry enough for the flesh. Uh, if we become hungry and desperate enough, then we can eat it. Most likely what will happen is it'll rot before we get to that point. But we're going to grab it anyway because we can. Wow, this is a very empty level. There we go. Give us something to fight. I'd also like to find some darts. That would be nice because throwing a little bit might help. Although that, yeah, it's always good to have some throwing skill. We don't want the robe because we are definitely going to be wearing heavier armors this time around. Ooh, some dwarven ring mail. That sounds promising. We're just going to hold on to you for now. And we may as well cut up the snake as well. Since we already had one piece of meat rot away from us. We start the dungeon fairly full, but you, food becomes a problem like incredibly fast. That's why I've been enjoying this brigade. But as you notice, they're kind of squishy. That was a short level. I don't actually like descending quite this fast, but we have to do what we can. There we go. Now I'm hungry. Oh, and my snake flesh is rotted away. So we're going to throw that. But we can chop up this gecko, or this newt, and eat that. It's not very tasty, but it'll help some. More stairs. Escape hatches. A bat. There we go. Oops, actually I should have chopped up the bat. Oh, and a meat ration. That's good. I think cockroaches are safe to eat, too. Oh, didn't leave a corpse. Rats are, although it didn't leave a corpse either. What dart trap? Oh, we'll pick up the dart, So we might want to throw it. A glowing elven dagger. Interesting. We might want it for throwing. Probably not, though. And look, I'm hungry again. I'll eat this choco. Fruits don't actually give you much nutrition, unless you're an herbivore. There we go. Let's cut up the rat and hope we get hungry before it it uh, rots. Level 3, and we are going to increase our strength. That's our primary statistic this time around. No dexterity. That's for fairies, more or less literally. Because I think the Spurgains kind of are. Oh! A snake. Ah, it's a snake, it's a snake. And a bat. Ah! Er, ah! Lots of people all at once. Oh, it's a bad way to fight. Although, luckily, the hobgoblin wasn't smart enough to go around the battle and hit me from three sides. Cut up the snake, cut up the bat. Most of those will rot away. Grab a scroll. Grab 26 darts. That's what I'm looking for. Awesome. And I'm going to read the scroll that I have four of. Yay, it's identify. Probably. So I'm going to use it to identify the stack of three scrolls. Remove curse. See, that would have been handy. And scrolls of fear, which are very, very handy. May as well identify some more stuff. Curse weapon. Okay, we're going to drop that. Scroll of teleportation. And we can identify... Uh, actually, we can just wear the armor now because we have a remove curse. So if it's cursed, we'll be okay. And if I have potion of confusion, which we will want to pitch because we can't actually use it offensively. We can only drink it. So let's put on the ring mail. So our, currently our AC is f 6 and our evasion is 5. Put on the ring mail, and we actually go to 6 and 6. So that's interesting. Cool. Okay, it's plus 1 ring mail. So it's definitely... What were we? F 6 and 5. So ring mail is actually lighter than scale mail, but because it's enchanted, we end up being one ahead. So that's good. Another glowing dagger. Which, yeah, you know what? I mean, I'm not going to be throwing these daggers. They're just going to be cluttering up my inventory. Another scroll. Some stairs. Oops. Bat. Kill the bat. 
It's harder as a dwarf because you're not as fast, so the bats tend to kite you in very annoying fashions. We're going to eat some meat since we're hungry. Done exploring. Okay, let's find some stairs going down. Oops. And go down them. Some scrolls and potions, a sling. Which I'm not going to use a sling. Slings and bows you actually have to equip. Ah, the scroll's already been identified. We already know it's a cursed weapon, so it actually won't auto pick up the scroll, which is very handy. Uh, we're going to fire some darts just to aggro these guys and pull them into the hallway. Yeah, we're just missing like crazy. Oh, oh, the orc wizard has disappeared. So we have an invisible foe here, which is very bad and annoying. These spellcasters are bad. Okay, he's standing right in front of me, so I'm trying to hit him here. Oh, the damage! Be a healing potion. What? Apparently it's a potion of fire, which did damage to me, and lit one of my scrolls on fire. Or no, wait, that's not right. How do you get the message log? No, I've been I put on fire for a different reason. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is it? Ah, control P. Oh, it was a potion of slowing, so now I'm slowed. And it was a puff of flame that hit me and burned one of my freaking scrolls. We're almost dead still. We do not have... I'm going to use a scroll of fear. Which should fear him, even though he can't see me. And I'm going to try to get the hell away. Something tries to affect you, but I resist. Ah! Another puff of flame, and I die. God damn it, I should have just maybe started drinking, but apparently I didn't even have a healing potion, so... I had paralysis, slowing, and poison. <laughs> and speed. Speed would not have helped me in this situation. And like, oh my god, that's awful! That is just awful. Okay, I want one more go. Maybe we should play a pure caster this time, just to get a good variety. So high elves are really good spell casters. Could just play a Spurgain again, actually. And do spell castery stuff. Or like, a mummy spell caster. Hmm. No, I'll go high elf... Ice Elementalist. We're going to freeze people. Check our memorizations. Okay. We do start with a spell, though. Yeah, we start with Freeze, which is a point-blank spell. You have to be kind of in melee range. And we don't have a weapon. We have Robe, we have a Book of Frost, and some Bread. And there's some scrolls right here, which is nice. A little bit of gold. We're going to ignore the Ringmail, because that'll probably just screw up our spell casting. Maybe I should pick up the Spear, actually, but... Okay, we'll walk up to this guy. Wow, we were able to sneak all the way up to him. Oh, we start with stealth. We're going to turn that off, actually. Because we need to get our spell casting and things up better. So we're going to zap him from point blank range. Zap! Ouch! That hurts. Zap! Oh, and a bat comes out of nowhere. Okay, we zap him too. That hurt like hell and used up all of our magical energy. Luckily, we are so stealthy to start off with. I guess partially because we don't have a whole lot in our inventory, maybe? Should have picked up those darts, actually. What the? Someone threw a club at me. How rude. Zap, zap. Ooh, rune darts. Oh, nice. So they're probably magical. So we're going to start pitching those at things. And we kill them without using a spell. Zap, zap. What kind of boots are these? Elven boots! Should we put them on already? No, we'll wait. We'll rest to heal up. Okay. And, oh, we can't even chop up the bat yet because we don't have anything. Maybe I will pick up the sling. It's a glowing sling as well. We're just ranging people right now anyway. It wouldn't hurt to actually use something special. Level 2. Awesome. Now we can memorize your spell. We're going to get Throw Frost. Yes. Which has better range. So we're going to use Throw Frost here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice! You get it? Because it's ice? Yeah. We're pretty funny. Oh. I don't have enough magic for that. Okay, let's just throw stuff at him. Good. Pick that up. Rest. Auto. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to pick up the dagger, because at the very least, we need something to cut stuff up with. Mm -hmm. This. That. Man, pick up some more darts. 
and a scroll and a rat. Oh, we'll pick up the scroll. Did we pick up an amulet? We did. I'm just going to put it on. What's the worst that could happen? Well, it's not cursed, so that's a good sign. Mm, no, we won't equip the weapon yet. Not unless we really, really need it. Oh, wait. I forgot I got spells now. Let's kill him first. And we sort of need a weapon right now. I'll throw point blank. There we go. No problem. I suppose <laughs> we're probably going to want to spend the rest of our game not in melee, so it makes no sense to, like, get any melee skills. Fire, fire, fire. But throwing stuff is always good, because you don't always have energy. Bam. Okay, well, let's zap some spells, practice that when we do have the mana. Hmm, actually I should chop up that rat since the rat is very edible. Right, but if we want to chop we need to wheel the weapon which could be cursed. Alright, we're gonna try the glowing orcish dagger and hope. It's... wow, okay, we don't know what the pluses are yet but it's definitely uncursed and it's actually an, a dagger of electrocution so it adds lightning damage, electrical damage which is pretty darn good. Um, let's chop up that rap corpse. So if we do any melee, we at least have a little bit of an edge. Why couldn't we find something like that with one of our melee people? And we get some embroidered boots over here, which I guess we'll pick up. And a ruined dwarven hammer. Man, you get, like, all the good stuff when you're not playing a melee champion. Ooh, poison darts. That's cool. Zap! Zap! Okay, that meleeing him doesn't work. Which I already knew. Another glowing thing. And I'm hungry. Oh, and my rat meat has rotted out. Well, we're going to try to explore a little bit and hope that we can find something edible like him. The problem with spellcasting is spellcasting makes you hungry. So you need so much more food. Just awful. At least I think you do. How do you find that out? Yeah. Yeah, they require extra food. So I guess I should actually be uh, ranging people more and more. We got a couple of stacks of twos for scrolls, but I'm not quite confident enough to try it. So we're just going to dart each other back and forth. Is that it, buddy? I win. Fire, fire. Zap. I'll do the short range zaps. I really don't know what's optimal for this sort of thing. Zap! Yay! And down the stairs we go. Hmm, finding knives all over. And a giant gecko. Zap. Take that. And zap. Fire. And zap. And zap some more. And some more. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll just... I know, we'll try to hack it too. That doesn't work. But he did start running, so that was good. Just killed him with more darts. I'm hungry. Need to find something I can butcher. Level three, we are going to in increase our intellect. Definitely. Hmm. Ba. Bumpa. Ow, he threw a club at me. Zap. Okay, we've been hungry for a while. I'm actually going to butcher this hobgoblin corpse, even though it's... Oh, I guess we're going to kill this guy first. Oh, but much better. We can just eat the bat. We're no longer very hungry. Yeah, so because I was getting so hungry, I was going to eat the hobgoblin, even though it's kind of contaminated meat. Ooh, a bone altar. We actually see our first altar now. Kill you. So, this is an altar of a god whose name I can't pronounce. I'm going to call him Kiku. We're going to pray here. Kiku is a terrible demon god, served by those who wish to indulge in the powers of death. Kiku is an is evil and requires the deaths of living creatures and demons as often as possible. Do we want to worship Kiku? Hmm. Well, I do intend to kill things. That makes it easy. Um, presumably I could sacrifice up some corpses to him, get some stuff, but I don't think he's exactly the guy we're looking for. There's no shortage of gods. Ooh, we got another named guy. 
Okay, we're going to try to kill off the weak goblin first. Just get him out of our hair. And we're hungry again. And we're going to zap Ijib. Till we have no more mana, which is now. I think I'm going to hit him with the poison darts. Okay, he's poisoned. He'll take some damage over time. That's good. And, um... I have some throwing skills. Maybe I should just throw. Sure. We'll just throw. Missed. Hitting. And he's close to death. Yes! He's dropped a dagger with no special modifiers. Doesn't seem worth while picking it up. So we'll just keep exploring. A brass ring. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Jewelry is normally not too bad. God, I wonder what these thick scrolls do. And I'm once again hungry, and I'm now very hungry, so let's find something to eat. Zap. Oh, why didn't you leave a body? Ruined short sword, and some darts of frost. Well, that doesn't really help me. I'm going to wait until I'm almost fainting before going into my bread. Oh, near starving. Okay, let's eat a piece of bread then. Oh! What the fuck? I had bat meat all along? What? Oh. Now I get some other meat. But I don't need it. Oh, this is not a great situation. Zap. 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 Zap, I say! Zap until I have no more energy. Okay, I have no more. Fire, 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 fire. I'm going to go up here so I can kill one guy. Level 4. And then rest and get my energy back. Go down. Zap this guy a whole bunch. Yay! Rest. And explore. Fire. Zap. Mm, fire. More darts. And zap you. Finding whips all over. Apparently we're in a kinky part of the dungeon. Ooh. Fire. And we're going to chop up this bat. Grab some stuff. Kill another mega bat. Okay, we still have stealth turned off, which I think is fine. Getting our throwing skill up quite a bit, which I think is a good idea. Hmm, maybe I should focus on spell casting, but spell casting will just make me hungry. Throwing darts does not. More potions and stuff. Oh, I do have three scrolls. I'm gonna assume it's identify. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Click. It's not. It's a scroll of detect curse. Oh my god, the ring is cursed. It's a good thing I didn't put it on. But the boots are not cursed, so I'm going to try them on. The elven boots. They're plus zero. What about the dwarven boots? They're plus one. Now, the elven boots will give me more stealth, actually. But the dwarven boots will... Uh, they just have better armor. And they give you acid resistance. Oh, that's interesting. Either of them affect my EV? No. Oh, the sling is cursed, too. Jeez. Alright, looks like I'm more aware of the dwarven boots for now, even though it's, like, racially inappropriate. We're gonna explore. This is probably identify. Let's try! Yep, seems like it. So we're gonna use that to identify more scrolls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we found magic mapping and curse armor. Well, we definitely dropped curse armor, and magic mapping seems pretty useless to me, too. Oh, scrolls of detect curse. Those are good. Fire some darts. Fire at the gas spore. Or at the giant mite, rather. Yay. Needles are slowing. Well, I would need to use a blowgun for that to be useful. And I guess we're going to go down. Thump. Memorize anything useful? Oh, throw icicle is really good. Uh, it's still poor. Actually, the armor is really good too. Let's memorize that. 
if ever there's a dangerous area, I'm going to try to put on the armor as quickly as possible. Oh, the stairway to the Economical Temple. Great. We're going to go straight there. This is the place where all the temples are. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. All right, quick exploration. So an altar of Zom, who's the god of chaos. Altar of Ashinzari, who is... Um... Unbudging God, all knowing, all seeing, devoted worshippers are allowed to grasp shreds of this knowledge and foresight, but be warned. To Ajari, power and blessing and curse are the same thing. That doesn't sound like a god I want to follow. I don't really know the gods that well. Um power over death and the undead. No. Nomalex. Strange, unpredictable trickster god. Packs of cards. Eh, maybe, but not right now. Okawaru, I think is a good god. Dangerous and powerful god of battle. No. There's a flame god here. Mechleb. The destroyer. Must constantly appease Mechleb with blood. Okay. The Humit. Oh! Destructive powers of magic. Gain various useful powers to enhance their command of hermetic arts. And the most favored stand to gain access to some of the f fearsome spells in Vahumit's library. One's devotion to Vahumit can be proven by causing as much carnage and destruction as possible. Well, that's a possibility. Jin, inner strength, pure body, refraining from unholy, evil, unclean, clean, chaotic magic, use of mutations, consumption of intelligent beings, flesh. And I'm going to say no for now. Evelion, the healer. Fetus is like a plant guy. Shiny one. Isn't there... There's the, the time one. There's a magic god somewhere, but I don't know... Who do I want? Is it the destroyer god? No, not that one. Whom it, destructive powers of magic. All right, that's what we're gonna be. Yes, yay. And how do we find out about religion? I don't remember what key it is. Whoops. No. There we go. Mm. Prove them causing as much carnage and destruction as possible. I have no idea what that means. But we're gonna try sacrificing stuff soon. Uh, I'd sacrifice this corpse. It's not really fresh. Let's try. Pray? Nope. Non-committal? Okay. I have no idea what I have to do for this god. Ah! The Humit accepts your kill. So it's perfectly happy just me going around killing things. So that sounds like fun. Nice god to follow. Yay! Accepts my kill. Woohoo! And, you know what, we're just going to zap you with a proper spell. Yeah. Oh! He didn't accept that. Oh, because I didn't actually kill him. Zap. I'm poisoned by a work rant. Oh my god, bugs do so much damage in, like, every game. There we go. Well, I accepted that kill, but I killed him with that. Okay, poison goes away. Excellent. I'm now hungry. I do have some meat to eat. Hooray! Um... I don't know why I decided to kill him melee. Well, he accepted that kill, but I assumed he would. Uh, we're going to pick up this old robe just in case. Might be good for us. Okay, zap him with frost, and he does accept the kill. Good. We do get hungry, though. Stupid spell casting. Fire, 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 fire. Wow, that's kind of scary. There we go. Oh, shit. Stupid wizard. I'm actually throwing plus three darts? Wow. Suck frost. And he vanishes. More frost. I'm hitting something invisible, though. And I'm out of my magic. Hitting something invisible still. Puffs of flame. Ah! I feel a bit more experienced. I think I may have just killed something. 
I'm confused. Oh man. This is less than ideal. Hopefully this is a healing potion first of all. It is. And we are gonna zap the square next to us. Apparently we can't. Okay, fire. Helplessly you fail to dodge attack. Yeah, stupid fucking invisible things. Fire things. I think, yeah, okay, I killed them. I'm just throwing darts, like, blindly. It's awful. Whew. Well, we got another rogue. Check that out. Pick up our plus three darts again. Pick up these robes. Okay, oops. I should have tried on those robes. Kill this guy first. Zap. Fire. Okay. Um, detect curse. Nothing is cursed. Good. Put on some ropes, because mine's non-magical, so hopefully we can find one that's magic. Uh, no. No. Drop that. Drop this one. Oh, this one's plus one. Awesome. Now, it's not an elven robe, but it's definitely worth wearing. Cool. So we've upped our AC a tiny little bit, so we'll take slightly less damage from things. Uh, apparently, worker ants are safe to eat, so I will eat him right now because I'm hungry. Hmm. Fire. I'm poisoned. Stupid poison darts, or poisoned needles from his blowgun. See, so yeah, I could just equip the blowgun. I don't know. Is it use? It does use throwing. Oh, cool. And there's a sling with stones, too. So we've got a variety of ranged options, rather than just throwing darts at people. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Well, we haven't identified these yet, so we're just going to keep throwing. You know, sit here and wait until the poison wears off. Hopefully that happens before I die. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we take heal wounds. She doesn't even get rid of the poison. There we go. Finally, it's gone. One shot, one kill with thrown weapon. I don't mind that at all. Ooh, there's a lot of shit here. Zap. 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 Zapping more spells. Whew. Alright. I'll chop up the snake. Which is safer than eat than jackals, apparently. A scroll of identify. Oh, cool. We're going to use that right away. And we are going to prioritize probably the scrolls. Enchant weapon one. Oh. Well, that sounds really good. May as well use it on my dagger that's already magical. Thump. Throw away some rotting meat. Level 6, more intellect. Yes. I actually went up by 2 points. And I'm hungry, so I will eat the snake flesh. Another unidentified scroll. An ooze. There we are. Bam. Megabat. Die, Megabat. Nope, oh, there's actually some darts here. I want that dart. So we're not being much of a magician. We're mostly being a thrower, actually, but it certainly works. Cut that guy up. A moth of wrath, but it's like frozen. Oh, look at all this shit. Oh, my God. Did anything see me? The rat did. Is that all? Come on, guys. Back up to my choke point. Zap. Much zappage. I'm getting hungry from all the spell casting. Fire. 
Excellent. Chop this guy up. Eat the bat flesh, because I think it's the oldest. I oh, may as well chop up the rat. Bloodstained Altar of Trog. Very fun god, actually. We'll pick up another whip, just in case the f or, um, sling, just in case the first one is cursed. And we'll go down the stairs. Yeah. And, okay, looks like a dead end, but we can probably search. Indeed, we can. A killer bee zombie. Oh, and these things are resistant to cold. Uh-oh. We're actually in a fair bit of trouble here. Oh, it didn't follow me up. Ooh. And we're hungry. Oh, and all our meat's gone. Well, we'll eat the pear. Okay, let's see if we can memorize throw ice skull. It's fair, which is not great. We're probably going to fail a lot. But the nice thing about... Let me use some ice spells here just to up my skill, hopefully. The nice thing about throw ice skull is that it's partially... Um, it's partially physical damage. It's not just magic. i try to find another staircase to go down this one. Um, so it works against things that are cold immune. So I will actually, again, practice some ice spells a little bit more. Hungry. Well, we'll eat this. That's the other problem with the raw chunks of flesh, is they don't give you a whole lot of satiation. Zap. Cut up. Oops. Zap. Zap, cut up, and walk around. Zap, rest a bunch, and zap, 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 zap. Oh, a fucking imp! God, these things are impossible to kill. Wow, there's a lot of enemies coming. Just gonna pop up. Make sure we're fully rested, or maybe we'll fight this guy. I'm going to try the uh, new Throw Icicle spell. Oh, and it works. Good. I'm chop up this body. And more things to kill. Awesome. I keep miscasting the spell here, because I have no skill with it. Very hungry. Okay, yeah, right. Let's eat something. Um... Yeah, so... How are we? We are still just fair casting that. Huh. Well, hopefully we can get our, I don't know, ice magic skill up or something through a little bit more spell casting. But you can see how it abuses your, uh, your hunger so much. Zap. Zap. There we are. Rest. Where's the imp? Oh. Oh, we're doing some damage to this guy. We actually killed them. Oh, wow, they're so hard to kill. But my throwing skill is good, and apparently they can't dodge spells that well, so... Keep resting, okay. Zap B. Yay. Oh, still hungry. Oh, lost my meat. What about this bat? No, it's too old these darts. Uh, maybe we'll chop up this contaminated corpse and risk it. Okay. Seemed to have worked out alright. <laughs> Lots of armor, of course. Zap A. Fire. 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 Zap A. Zap. Zap, zap, zap. Wow, we're deadly now. Lots of meat. It'll probably all go bad before we get hungry again. Helmet, which I don't think I want to use. Hey, a scroll of identify. Let's use it. Let's, um... Keep reading scrolls, because I don't have a scroll of teleport yet. Ah, speaking of which, finally I need one. That's good if we get in trouble. Pick up some more stones. Zap this guy. Oh, I just missed. It's not a good sign. I guess my skill does suck. Holy crap, man. And I'm going to eat, despite the fact that there's someone coming. I think it's a zombie. 
Yeah. We're going to hit him with the icicle spell. I miscast it. Damn it. Okay, killed it. Power returning. Really? So. Again, I don't remember. Ah, I currently gain magical power from killing. That is a very, very handy ability from this particular god. I like that a lot. Hmm. Okay. What does that happen with the icicle spell? Miscast. God damn. You know, we definitely have to practice our spell casting a bit more. Especially right now when we've got so much food kicking around. Oh, it's all gone around. Alright. Um, the easier ones. Why am I taking damage? Oh, it's a zombie. That's not going to help. Hmm. Point blank. The ice skull one. It's not really working out for me. Fling stuff at him. Slash at him. Okay. Oh god, finally. God. Wasn't taking any damage and then he just suddenly dropped. Okay, explore. Identify! Cast that. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Potions. What are you? Potion of healing. Good. So we've got Potion of Heal Wounds and Healing. Healing does less, but it's very nice to have. I guess we have to walk out through the spear again. Yes. Ow. So, yeah, there's a whole other area over there, but they might not be connected, I suppose. I shouldn't be exploring this much while I'm hungry. Ah, i got to walk over another spear trap. Fire. Fire. Did you leave a body? Yes. Cut you up and eat you. Nom 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 nom. It's terrifying. And down we go. Another level. Okay. What are you? An ice beast and a worker ant. Let's wait one turn. Bring the ice beast up with us. Wait. I'm not going to be able to hit him with my ice spells. God damn it. Hopefully I can dart him to death. Use the poison darts. Oh man. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting? My fucking armor spell. Okay, and let's use a curing potion, see it didn't cure me all. Just melee him or something. There we go, almost dead. Did I get him? Finally got him. Ice armor started to melt away. Should have thought to use it earlier though. And let's recast the ice armor and then go kill this thing. Because all the bugs are really dangerous. Yay, you're level 7. And he didn't leave a body, which sucks. Hmm. Got some meat. I mean, push comes to shove, we do have bread. But I do like to hold off on that stuff until I absolutely, absolutely have to. Did I get him? Nope. Ah, ice magic went up one level. Awesome. I'm near starving. Just gotta kill him. Okay. Did you leave a corpse? Eh, I'll cut you up and try to eat you. Ogre flesh. Okay. It didn't get rid of all my hunger, though. But we're not quite as bad as we were. Damn it. No body. A ring. Very hungry. So very hungry. Zap. Oh, good. We can eat this guy. Oh, it's actually semi-contaminated. Well, let's try it. And we're alright. Gotta take some risks. Oh, god. A scorpion. Bad. Die. <laughs> well, I'm miscasting the spells, which aren't helping. Zap him with the easy one. Oh, god. Poison damage. Kill them. And rest a whole bunch. Wait till the poison passes. Come on. Whew. There we go. Okay. I'm very hungry. Elven gauntlet. Interesting. Zap. And cut up the bat and eat him. Nom nom nom. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. Now, this is a good time finally for detect curses. 
Okay, lots of uncursed stuff. Now, my spell casting, let's say the throw icicle is currently as good. If I put the gloves on... Okay, it doesn't hurt our spell casting. That's good to know. They're plus zero gloves, so not terribly helpful, but they're better than nothing, which is what we had. The ring is uncursed, so we're going to put it on. It's a ring of plus one strength. Well, that doesn't hurt. It actually gives us a little bit better carrying capacity, which will matter later. Actually, I'm an idiot. I should have picked up all this stuff. Wow, Naga Marty. Holy cow. Before um, doing my Detect Curse. Okay, Centaurs are actually brutal. Ow, they throw a lot of arrows at you. But at least when it comes to range stuff, I do okay thanks to my spells. Nothing else I want to equip. Well, I can try the, the slings, I suppose, and the blowgun. Let's use that. You don't find a lot of darts, so I'm going to just try to use them up now. Get them out of my inventory. I can do the bow and arrow thing, too, frankly. Encumbrance. We are very hungry. Blork the orc! We're going to unleash with our full power spells. Apparently he casts spells at me, too. Zap, zap, zap. I miscast the spell. And one more. Ooh, finish him off. Fire at the zombie worm, who's going to be immune to the poison anyway, so what the hell. Just throwing, like, non-magical darts at him. God damn it. I can't use that. Hmm. Jesus. Okay, I'll just... Oh, I can't melee him with that. No. Uh, go back to my... Sword? There we go. Electrocution, electrocution dagger. See if we can hit him that way. Good. Alright. Why? That's not right. It should cycle between my... Hold on, there's supposed to be a key that lets me cycle between my two active weapons. Wield item A or white. Oh, right! That's what you have to do. You have to assign slots. So, you... Uh, just items. So, K... Equals I... K, move it to A. Adjust I D, move it to B. There we go. Now we can alternate between our arc dagger and our blow darts. Hmm, glowing orcish hand axe, scroll. I'm going to hit the scorpion. We've actually poisoned the scorpion, which I think is deliciously ironic. Now we're going to try to freeze it, and we can't. What the? What are my spells? Throw frost, which should be B. Zap. B. No energy. Oh, because I'm starving. That's why I can't throw a fucking spell. All right. Well, I'm certainly hitting it, I'm, like poisoning the crap out of this thing. Okay, I'm going to have to take a second here and actually eat a meat ration. There we go. Get stung a little bit while that happens. Alright. And I'm poisoned. Let's let it pass. Come on. Oops. Well, we'll kill you. Melee? No. No, no, no. Switch. Melee. Chop you up. Rest. Finally the poison passes. Heal up. Okay. Grab all that. Poison work rant. Yay! Fling some regular darts at him. Zap. Ma Ice magic has increased to level 7. Fantastic. Now, how am I doing? I'm now excellent on that throw icicle spell. Groovy. Still going to generate food problems, though, so... Oops. Blow gun. Bunch of scrolls. We have three scrolls of something. What is that going to be? Remove curse, maybe? 
I think it's fairly common. Uh, no. What is that? Eh? We're mailing with spells, basically. Zap A. Zap A. Yay. Do we have any re more religious powers? Oh, the Hemet, the Humit is aiding your destructive magic. So I wonder if they cast my, counts my ice spells and stuff. Done exploring. Okay, well, I guess we have to go down. Let's burn a magic mapping. Just because. Hmm. Fire. You know what? We're going to poison both of these guys. Uh oh, that's starting to be a lot of things. A lot, a lot. Hmm. Let's use a high powered ice spell and actually kill one. Kill another one. Go up. Bring this guy upstairs with us. Zap, zap. Woo! We're splashed with acid, but our boots resist. Thank God. Fire. We're hitting him, but we're not killing him. Let's zap him with a spell. Alright, go back down there, kill some more dudes. High powered spell. High powered spell. Maximum damage. Alright. Worked out. Grab another robe just in case it's magic. Oh, no. Chop down the mushroom here. Nothing exciting. Okay. Fire! Zap. Fire at the centaur, who's just going to arrow me back. We'll move up, we'll use the more powerful spell and try to finish him off faster. Good. We are hungry, we have no meat to eat. Wait, did I throw my dagger at some point? What the hell? Oh, what is this? A giant eyeball. Uh oh. Probably should have noticed him a little sooner. Because he keeps paralyzing me. But I can eat him, so that solves some of my problems. Oh, another orc. Die. I'm butchering things here. I just flung my dagger. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna have to eat some bread because... Ouch! I didn't think they'd catch up that fast. Full heal. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Full heal some more. Up the stairs. Rest. Alright. Switch weapons. Why am I not wielding anything? Oh, because I threw that thing away. God damn it. Maximum spell power. Level 8. Good. You die as well. Alright. The robe. Can I chop this body up? Good. Wield A. Chop it up. Oh, it's rotting. It's been too long. Damn it. There is a shop here, which is really exciting, but I think I'm going to have to clear the area a little bit more first. There's a skeleton over here. Alright, we'll zap him with the icicles. Physical damage. There we are. And I go into the store. Oh, and they have spell books! Oh, I don't have enough money for it. Shoot, 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 shoot. That always happens when I see a shop. I just have to come back later. Fire, 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 fire. Zap, zap, zap. Level 7 throwing, pretty beefy. Glowing hammer, some more gold. An orc fire. Lots of orcs. And spellcasters, too. Ow. Zap D. 
Oh, this guy's a big one, too. Die already. Whew. Oh, we're getting spelled at. Sh shoot. I need something that lets me see in viz. Uh, I'm gonna what, go up the stairs, maybe? May not be able to follow me. Okay, good. Because it was casting spells at me, so it couldn't quite reach. Have you worn out? Nope. Wait a little bit longer. Go down. Hobgoblin zombie. No. Oh, it's a lot of undead. Fire. Fire. Die. Die. Rest. Fire. Fire. Orc skeleton. I can throw f stones at you. Or poison needles. That doesn't sound very useful either. Let's just equip some of these slings. And fling rocks this way. And actually do pretty well for ourselves. Hello, Skype. It's Jay's Awesome messaging me. I think we're supposed to play some League of Legends, actually. No, don't target myself. Alright, that's... We're doing okay. Do I have any food? Nope. More zombies. Kill it with sling bullets. I feel like a halfling here. Throwing rocks at stuff. And Oh! No, he's invisible! I didn't realize that. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck, I wish they'd stop doing that. Very hungry. Ugh, eat some bread. Okay, you are getting maximum spellage because don't want you turning invisible again, you bastard. Oh, a spider. Oh, God. It's not dying. It's still not dying. Ah! What the fuck? Um, teleport. Oh my god, the teleport spell didn't kick in on time. I guess I should have healed, but I assumed I could run away from this thing. It's like, fast enough to keep up with me? Frack! Hmm. Well, we didn't have Scroll of Enchant Weapon 3. I'm not used to seeing that. Uh, Amulet of Warding. What does that even do? Repels some of the attacks of creatures that had been magically summoned. Okay. Your strength, healing. I mean, I could have drank the potion of healing, but I was actually pretty hard up there. Jeez. Anyway, there's Dungeon Crawl. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you folks next time.